He, yeah. he really seems to like the flat track, so we will see. Second group, AFT Singles, 63, Jared Lowe, 24, Hunter Bauer, 131, Evan Kelleher, 115, Justin Anselmi, his first trip here. The 40 by Olin Kistler, the 106, Reese Podorf. The 56 is Jordan Jean, and the 132, an FIM Supermoto racer, that's Bronson Pierce. He has joined us this weekend. He should also be at the Sturgis TT race as well. There's the jet, Jared Lowe. He's actually been racing a lot of motocross and barely missed qualifying for Loretta Lambs by one position, he said. That's pretty impressive. For what class? I didn't ask him that. He's definitely not. <laughs> no, but uh, it's still Sorry. impressive if you're racing the some Pierce, motocross. It, it, well, you know what? It is not easy to qualify for Loretta's, I will say that, whether you're A, B, or C rider. But, um, you know, props to him because that's only going to make him a better rider in general. The more you can diversify yourself, and I think if you're a team owner or even if you're a fellow rider, knowing that you're able to not only tackle a TT, that you have those skills, you have the muscle memory, um, it's just going to help him in the future. And, and you're not afraid to jump, and you also know how to use that front brake. So there's a lot of benefits. That when will you, benefit for Peoria. For Peoria and for Sturgis as well. So there's a look at 24 Hunter Bauer, Canadian rider. We've got riders from Australia, Canada, and of course the United States. A lot of representation internationally, but also even in the top three, we've got Honda, Yamaha, and KTM leading the field, of course, from a qual RA practice session. And uh, these guys kind of figuring out the track a little bit. Ooh, and sell me, slow it down. You got to remember, there's a front break up there, so it's his first trip to Peoria, maybe. Maybe didn't realize how long that front straightaway is, Kristen. You actually, right. some people are downshifting twice to, to lay it into turn number one. So Justin's just getting it dialed in right now. I talked to his dad earlier. They're super excited to be here. And they got to experience what we did this morning, rolling in and going down that hill to come into the Thunder Valley. Right. It's always an exciting race here at the Pre-Race too. Let's get a flow racing replay here. Scotty, break down. Well, he's going in a little bit too low and looks like maybe he just, like his foot's already, his right foot's already turned off the brake pedal. Maybe he forgot to use that front brake and maybe downshift a little bit. When you downshift going into one, it actually helps you slow down. But, you know, it's just part of the figuring that process out. But well, I like what he's doing. He's got his right toe turned off of the brake pedal. My dad taught me that back in the day. So if you have your foot on that brake pedal, sometimes you will drag the brake and not right. even realize it. So uh -huh. turn that foot a little bit to the right. The only problem is, if you need a break in a hurry, you got to pick it up and move it back over there. So it, it's goods and bads, but definitely looks like he's trying to get it dialed in. Talking about the 115 of Justin and Selmy. And all of these riders trying to make the most of their first practice session because ideally in this session, you're trying to figure out your settings for your bike. You're trying to make quick adjustments. You're trying to take mental notes as you're out there that you can convey to your mechanic. White flag is out. One more lap for these guys, and uh, then a long conversation with their mechanics. A lot of these guys, you know, for the most part, th there is not a single rider in here that I think over adjusts their bike that I talk to, but there are some guys that will make minor adjustments, whether it be gearing or even air pressure in the tires, might be one that they're kind of contemplating with because of the change in the weather, but. Yeah, the, the change in the traction on the track, too, might right. change what you gear your motorcycle for to come off the corner or you're going to gear it for the end of the straightaway. That's small adjustments right there. You can tweak it just a little bit, but right. pretty much what you run with when you raced here last will, is where you would start when you go out there for today. They look in those notebooks. Okay, well, we are going to invite in a special guest. We're going to play some musical chairs in the uh, AFT booth this morning. This afternoon, we're right now in afternoon land, and we're going to bring in our good friend, Colby Carlisle, and the front of the truck is telling me that Scotty Dubler will be uh, going to grab a PMC burger, and then the actual pro, Mr. Dubler, will step back in, but I'm going to take a moment with Mr. Colby Carlisle, and I'm going to actually step up and let him move in because he's dealing with a little bit of an injury right now, so we're going to just take a quick pause and uh, let you guys enjoy the scenics here at Peoria as Colby steps on in. And uh, Colby, you made quite a an announcement this week on social.